best gear is the gear you have on you. And what is up, guys? It's your average gear reviewer here, back again with another one for you. And guys, I think you know, uh, according to my calculations, it's Friday. It's, so you know what that means. It's time to take all this gear off. It's been weighing us down all week. We've been wearing this stuff all week, guys. It's time to take it off. It's time for the Friday pocket dump. What do you say? What's in your pockets? So guys, as always, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, hey, thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I'm your average gear reviewer. And if you're a returning viewer, hey, what's up, guys? Good to see you again. So glad to have you back with me. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's Friday. We've been carrying around this gear all week. You know, all the stuff that we carry around with us to try to keep prepared. And it, it's time to it's time to dump it all out. It's time to get rid of it. The weekend's upon us, right? It, it's time to just get all this stuff out of our pockets. It's time for that pocket dump, guys. And I'm super excited this week because I do have some some really cool stuff that I've just changed up here recently and I can't wait to show it to you. So let's get into it. So yeah, guys, I, I'm too tall. I can't get everything in the picture. So I'm, I'm just going to go from here so you get an idea of everything that I'm carrying. And of course, the uh, two things that really haven't changed, of course, is the iMini 2, you know, that I always have that around my neck. And of course, the Tick Watch Pro, always have that on around my wrist. So um, now we're going to go, I'll just go like I always do from left hand to right hand and we'll just cover everything that way. So top pocket here. Uh, and I have to say these Kenneth Cold reaction jeans, they're kind of a stretch jean and they have uh, like five watch pockets in them. So super cool. I'll see if I can find a link for those. And if so, I'll put them in the description down below. But anyway, in this first pocket, I've got the SOG power leader. Of course, you guys know, always got to have the power leader on me. Uh, and then, of course, got the Lighter Bro Pro, another must-have in the pocket. And, of course, over here, we've got our O-Hank. Again, those things really haven't changed that much. Uh, still pretty much the same stuff. And, of course, you know, I got the Mirrodin Tactical Wallet, uh, so no changes there as well. Um, and then, so... Okay, so what I've been carrying this week mainly up until uh, probably today is the Civivi Vision FG. And I have a uh, full review coming out on this one. It should be out this weekend, hopefully. But uh, that's what I've been carrying most of this week. Uh, love the Vision FG. Super cool knife. Uh, very nice action on it. And that's Shark Lock. You know, it, it's just perfect. Um, let's see. Also... You know, I, I still got it in my pockets, guys, and I'm going to keep bragging on it. It's the uh, TFP-01, uh, the Tactical Front Pocket Organizer from Knife Eye King. Yeah, yeah, got to have that in there. Uh, the only thing I did in advance is I did make this safe. So, uh, you know, of course, got the uh, G2C on me. It is unloaded and on safe. Uh, got that on me, of course, in the... Got it in the gun and flower holster. You guys know that uh, I always have the gun and flower Kydex holster on me with the ulti clip. Uh, again, you just have to have that ulti clip, guys. Let's see, let's put that there. Um, what else do we have on us? Oh, I got a, a $5 bill. Uh, so there you go. I had a $5 bill left in my pocket. I forgot about it. Uh, and, uh, oh wow. Hey, I totally forgot about this, guys. I've been carrying this ever since I took it out of the box and I had it in my other watch pocket and forgot that it was in there. But it's the uh, Outlier Karambit from uh, Kershaw. Super cool. I just did an unboxing video on this one and it should uh, should have went up earlier today. If you missed that one, definitely check it out. Super cool little blade. Uh, very, very different kind of carry for me, but I am absolutely loving it. So we'll put that one on too. I actually forgot I had that one on me, guys. So something that I got this week, it, it's super cool, and I just did a video on it. It is the, it's the Vism Tactical Belt System. And what it is, is it's an inner belt that's uh, Velcro, and then it has loop on all over the outside of it where you can attach another uh, outer combat type belt to it. But guys, 
I did figure something out and it allows for something really cool as a concealed carrier. Y you guys definitely want to get one of these and, and I'm going to show you why right now. I was watching Ed Calderon's video about how he carries uh, his tourniquet and he likes to carry it down the leg of his pants just straight up and down already extended. Well this belt allows you to carry your tourniquet. Yeah, that's right. It allows to carry your tourniquet strapped around your waist. So yeah, guys, that is super, super cool to me. Um, I have a whole new way of carrying my tourniquet and making sure that I always have it on me. Oh yeah, guys, and I, I didn't want to not show you the belt as well. Um, I just did an unboxing video on this one and it should go up think maybe today or tomorrow but it's by a company called Vism and what it is is it's an inner belt system for a tactical belt and then it has a uh, gun belt that goes over the top of it and it also has a comfort pad that comes with it so it's super cool be sure and check that video out um, I might I might if I remember to I'll try to put a link in the uh, uh, up here for you so you can check that one out but uh, anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's take a go back to the top down look here and uh, we'll, I'll go through everything that I'm carrying. So, guys, as you can see, uh, you know, there are some things that I really have settled on in my carry. Um, there are some other things that I, I'm trying out new this week. You know, the the lighter bro, the uh, power leader, you know, my mirrored in tactical wallet. A lot of these things I've just kind of settled on, but you know, some of the newer things, the uh, tactical front pocket, I'm really loving the versatility that this, this gives me. I'm able to carry my Oticle driver in here, uh, an Open Mini. I'm able to carry a small pry bar as well as a little small EDC flashlight in there. All very, very handy. Um, you know, the Civivi uh, Vision FG, I've been carrying it that's this week. And, uh, you know, well, actually, I've been carrying this one for a couple of weeks now, to be honest. Just to try to get a, a good sense of it, you know, its capabilities and uh, the ergos and everything of it. So I have been carrying this one a lot, but I, I'm not going to lie, guys. This this outlier has not left my pocket uh, since I unboxed it. It, it. it is really, really super cool. Um, and the concept behind the carry, uh, I'm just really digging. So guys, be sure and check that video out if you haven't seen that one yet. Um also, I'm loving the Vism belt and, and how it actually allows me to externally carry the tourniquet. Just, just kind of, you know, Velcroed on the outside of there. Super secure. It's a the belt's got a. It, it, it's a nice. It's a nice compromise between flexibility and stiffness. So when I have the uh, pistol on it, just concealed. It, it feels nice and supportive and stiff, but it still moves with you pretty well. Um, now, once you lock that combat, combat belt over the top of it, it really locks it down. And uh, I can tell already that it's not going to wiggle around and move on me a lot. But I'll have some more videos coming up on that. I want to do is some setups on it and maybe uh, show those off to you guys, see what you think about those. But anyway, what do you guys think about the, the uh, carry? You know... Um, like I said, some stuff has changed this week, and, and my philosophy on some carry things has changed a, a little bit this week as well. So let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think about this carry. I guess the comments would be down here. Let me know what you think about this carry. Um, how do you feel about the evolution? I feel like I'm kind of going through my personal, my own personal EDC evolution. I'm going down some rabbit holes, obviously, but uh, I am finding some cool stuff, guys. And, you know, it, that brings me to uh, another point. If you like this video, if you like the content, leave me a like down below here, guys. Leave me a like, please. Uh, you know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hey, I don't know what you're waiting on, brother. Subscriptions, we have decided to keep them free up until we hit a 1,000 subscribers. So, uh, you know, get in on the ground floor here. And remember, uh, if you are subscribed, make sure you have your notifications turned on. Just hop down there and check that for me real quick if you would. Because uh, we've had an issue where some people have had their notifications turned off. There have been some people who have just flat out been unsubscribed. So, you know, if you are subscribed, make sure you check and make sure you got those notifications turned on because uh, I will have some announcements coming up in the next week about our big 500 subscriber giveaway, guys. I'm super excited about that. 
Anyway, as always, make sure you hop over on Instagram. Uh, follow us over there at Average Gear Review and post your TGIF Pocket Dump with the hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump. Hopefully, we'll see you over there, guys. Uh, follow us over on Instagram. On uh, We're on Twitter as well, uh, trying to start up a TikTok, but <laughs> I'm an old guy and I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, I'll keep you updated on that, guys. But as always, you know what I always say, always be carrying. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer, I'm about it. The best gear is the gear you have on you.